All right, making this ancient city build was super fun, but it really took a toll on my gear. So I think I need an upgrade, which means it's finally time for netherite. Now comes the fun part. All right, that's enough ancient debris to upgrade all of my gear. So let's get out of here, smelt all this ancient debris and craft it into netherite ingots. But wait a second, if I'm upgrading my armor to netherite, we should probably put actual armor trims on it too. What ones should I do? Ugh, I can't decide, there's too many. So I guess I'll just have to get all of them. That's right, not only am I going to get every armor trim in the game, but I'm gonna get every single armor trim in every single color on every single type of armor. And I'm going to display them all on all of these armor stands but before i can do that as you can see aside from the netherite upgrade i only have four of the 16 armor trims which leaves 12 more to get so let's get going since I already have the dune, rib, ward, and silence armor trims, that rules out having to find a desert pyramid, a nether fortress, and an ancient city. So out of all the remaining structures left to find, a shipwreck will be the easiest. All I have to do is fly around the ocean here for a little bit. Here we go. There's one right here. Oh yes, perfect. Let's add that to the collection. And that's one more structure down. And the next easiest one to find is probably a pillager outpost. There's quite a few villages near the base, which always spawn near outposts. So if I just fly around here for a little while, I should find one. <gasps> Found one. I don't want to risk dying, so we just have to get in and get out. Ah, no trim. Gotta go find another one. Please have a trim. Yes, sentry armor trim and a goat horn. Now the next structure we need to find is a jungle temple for the wild trim. So if I just fly around here for a little bit. Oh, here we go. Yes, two wild armor trims. So that's another trim added to the collection. So that is seven down and nine more to go. But the nine we have left are a little trickier to get. The next trim we need is the tide armor trim, which has only a 20% chance to drop from killing an elder guardian in an ocean monument. Those are extremely dangerous and I can't hold my breath for that long. But luckily, while I've been exploring around, I found a buried treasure with a potion of water breathing inside. It only lasts for three minutes and I only have one. So I have to kill all three Elder Guardians in this monument in three minutes without dying or I lose this hardcore world forever. So here we go. And I got mining fatigue. Here's the first Elder Guardian. No trim yet. This is the last chance and I'm running out of time. <gasps> yes, tied armor trim with only 48 seconds left. I got to get out of here before I die. That was scary. And I got it on the last Elder Guardian too. That is the eighth trim, only eight more to go. For the next trim, we actually have to do a little bit of villager trading. So let's head back to the base. Right next to the base, I have this little village where I've been doing some trading, mostly just to get enchanted books. But right now I have something else in mind. I need to breed another villager. So I'll set up a little villager breeding area right here. Pretty ugly. I'll make something better later. But for now, this will work. I just need to give the villagers some food. So I'll grab some of these carrots. There we go. Now we just need one villager from you guys. So... There we go. Now we just have to wait for that little guy to grow up, which takes 20 minutes. So... Okay, they grew up and another one is here. Okay, but also as you can see from this evidence, there was a little bit of a zombie problem last night. Luckily, none of these guys died except for this one, but I'll deal with that later. Right now, I've got to move one of these guys over here. So let's make a little bit of a path and keep going. Okay, perfect. And let's lock back up the rest of these guys. Have fun. Okay, so this guy, I need to turn into a cartographer. Okay, he has the paper trade and that's exactly what we want, even though I don't have the best paper farm, but I have a bunch in storage. So we can level this guy up a bunch to unlock a trade for this Woodland Explorer map. And we can use that to find a Woodland Mansion, which is the location of the next armor trim, the Vex armor trim. Hopefully this is the closest one because the dot is looking real small and I have a feeling I'm pretty far away. I've arrived. First, we gotta check the roof because there's always some hidden stuff up here. I think, Um, that's a lot of guys in there. <gasps> Come on, yes! There we go. Now we can actually just search this place for the armor trim we came for.
Okay, I haven't found literally any chests in this place. So I'm resorting to violence. I'm burning this place down. Hopefully this gets rid of like the entire building except for the chests. This is what we like to see. Oh, there's a chest. Yes, Vex armor trim. Finally, what are they doing here? On top of a dark oak mansion as it's literally on fire? What are you doing? All right, well, that's all we need from this place. And since I did get a few totems of undying here, I think it's time I become a real hardcore YouTuber. There we go. My special totem. It's literally me. Okay, so with that, we can finally head back because there are only seven more armor trims we need to get. I'm literally thousands of blocks away from home though, and it would take forever to get back. But luckily, there's a lava pool here to make a portal. Oh. Not only is nether travel faster, but the next trim I need is found in a bastion. So let's head into the nether. Um... Did anyone else see the rain that was just in the nether? Okay. Oh, and we spawn right next to a bastion. Let's go. Ah! Oh my gosh. Chest plate on, cause this is gonna be a oh, first chest and we got it. This now armor trim. There's even a snout banner pattern, which is pretty rare too. Since we found that, we could leave right now. And I think I'm going to. So now there's only six more armor trims we need to collect. And four of those trims come from the trail ruin dig sites. And I've actually found one of those pretty close to the base, somewhere around here, right in the middle of this water for some reason. So if I just get lucky with this one, I should be able to find four different armor trims. Oh, an armor trim already, let's go. Wayfinder armor trim. Oh, here we go. Razor armor trim. Only two more to find here. Oh, another trim. Post armor trim. Only one more down here in the trail ruins. Oh, another armor trim. Sharper armor trim. Yes, that's all four of them. I got one of each. That's so lucky. So let's get out of here and find the final two armor trims. Both of them are related to the end. One is in the actual stronghold itself and the other is found in an end city. So I'll head over to the stronghold. And here, I just need to find the library and there should be a chest in here. Yes, the eye armor trim. And that just leaves the spire armor trim for us to find in an end city. So let's find one. Hopefully this city has it. Yes, spire armor trim, finally. And of course, another elytra. So that is every single armor trim in the game. And that is goal one complete. But I don't only need one of each. To get every single armor trim on every type of armor in every color, I need 240 of each trim. To craft all of that, I need a total of 26,880 diamonds, which obviously is a lot. And I have nowhere close to that. So that means I need to start mining. So if we head down to the mining section of the ancient city build, this fake mine shaft right here is actually the perfect spot to make a strip mine. Oh, there's even some diamonds in here. So I'm going to start a strip mine right here, but there's no way I'll be able to get almost 30,000 diamonds in one shot. So first we'll start with leather and I'll get all of the diamonds for that. And by the end of the video, we'll work our way all the way up to netherite. So for the leather, I need about 70 stacks of diamonds. All right, I think this should be good. Out of both of these choker boxes, I need to get 4,480 diamonds. I have fortune three, so hopefully this is enough. That's the block of diamond ore I need to mine. It might look small from far away, but up close, it's huge. All right, so let's mine this all and hope we get enough. Okay, so after all that, we got a ton. This is definitely enough for all the leather armor sets. But before we can actually make those armor sets, we need a place to put them. So I think I'll set that up right over here. All right, this display stand is where every set of armor is going to be. Each one displayed on top of the block relating to each specific trim. Since I'm starting out with all the leather sets and working my way all the way to netherite by the end of the video, I'll start by placing down all the armor stands for the leather sets first. Just like that. And now for all the trims, I need 40 of each. Obviously, I don't have that. So it's time to dig into our diamond collection. First one to craft, the rib armor trim. All right, with less than seven stacks of diamonds left, I have the first round of armor trims we need for the leather armor. But what I don't have is the leather armor. So this tiny cow farm I have, I think needs to be expanded. From this cow farm, I need to collect about 60 stacks of leather to craft all of the armor, which is a bit more than a double chest full. So...
left. Okay, I think that should do it. Hopefully. So that should be everything. Oh, except for the netherite. I need a stack of that. So give me a sec. All right, so that should be every material we need for the actual trims, except for netherite. That takes forever. I'll get the rest later. But with that, it's time to craft the actual armor. This is gonna be quite the process. So first, the Vex armor will go here. So I'll craft that with each material. I need 10 pairs of boots, chest plates, leggings, and helmets. And now we finally get to make the actual armor trims. First is copper, nice. Next is iron, gold, lapis, emerald, diamond, uh, wasting netherite like this hurts. But this is just the beginning. Then quartz, amethyst, and redstone. So that is every single Vex armor trim for leather in every single color. That looks awesome. Now the leather armor for every other trim. And with that, that is every single leather armor set in the entire game. Just the leather looks awesome, and this is only the beginning. I can't wait for this entire display to be filled up at the end of the video. So far, the silenced armor trim is definitely my favorite because it shows the most color. But the Vex one here is also pretty sick. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. But okay, now it's time to start on the chainmail armor. So obviously, the first step in getting the chainmail armor is getting the actual armor. And the only way to get chainmail in the game right now is by villager trading. <gasps> No, what happened to you? I guess this isn't like safe or whatever, but come on. Well, this is actually a good example of exactly what I'm gonna do. Normally chain mail from a villager can cost up to four emeralds per piece. And while that doesn't sound like a lot, when I'm buying hundreds of them, it all adds up. But if one of those villagers turns into a zombie and I take a weakness potion and a golden apple, I can use those things to cure the villager and... They'll transform back into a villager and their trades will be cheaper. So that's the goal. I need to make a bunch of armor for villagers and buy 24 double chests full of chainmail armor. But I can only afford not that many. I need more emeralds. Let's fix that. My favorite way to get emeralds is by trading sticks to a fletching villager. Just a few sticks gets you an emerald. And with huge spruce trees like this, getting sticks is pretty easy to do. Chopping down and replanting the trees though, isn't really the fastest. So let's go find a taiga biome. Here we go. Time to cut down this whole forest. All right, hopefully all this will be enough. But now it's time to do a bunch of trading. Okay, so that is every bit of chainmail armor that we're gonna need. But now I have the problem of being almost completely out of diamonds and I need to craft more armor trims again. But I learned last time, plain old strip mining maybe isn't the fastest strategy, but luckily I have another option that I think will be quite a bit faster. And it starts by digging out a big room here. And in this space, I'm gonna build a tunnel board, which basically is a TNT machine that will automatically mine for me. And to build that, I need a few materials. Most of what I need, I can just steal. Oh. Most of what I need, I can just steal from the TNT dupers from last episode. And now the most important material I need, I can actually find in the nether. To build the tunnel bore, I need three ancient debris. And right now, I have zero. So, one, two, and three, plus an extra. The last material I need are a couple of shroom lights. And that is everything I need, hopefully. And now all this stuff to do is build it. Okay, so that's the build. And now if I just hit this note block, hopefully... <gasps> yes, there we go. And ores are already being exposed. This is my new method of mining. It'll be so much quicker than strip mining. And with that, I have quite a few diamonds now. I think this should be enough to craft the trims for not only the chainmail armor, but also the gold armor after. But for now, I'll place down these armor stands. And now it's time to craft all the trims. <sighs> I forgot I need more netherite. <laughs> Give me a sec. There we go. Now we can finally do all the chainmail armor. We're not even halfway through with the project and the frames here are already getting rough, but at least it looks cool. All 
All right, that is every single chainmail set all added. This is looking awesome, especially the silence trims. I also just realized I did my math so wrong. I accidentally bought double the chainmail armor that I needed, but whatever. The next type of armor we're gonna get is the gold armor. And luckily I have quite a bit of gold from all the mining that I can smelt, but I didn't pick up enough cause that is still less than half of what I need. So I don't know if this is gonna be a good strategy, but. Okay, that got me nowhere close to enough ingots. I think I need a new strategy. I'm gonna build a gold farm. And there's a few materials that I'll need for that. First, a bunch of smooth stone to make smooth stone slabs. Then about a stack of spruce trap doors. A boat, chests, hoppers, sand for glass, and then a couple seagrass to breed these turtles together and get turtle eggs. And the final thing I need, many stacks of magma blocks. <gasps> oh! Okay, let's never let that happen again. Okay, so this should be everything I need. So I can just head up. Oh, so I can just head up to the nether roof and pillar all the way up to the top. Make a platform of slabs and magma blocks and place a turtle egg here in the middle. Pretty simple. If I just shoot one of these guys, we have a working farm. Now we can collect all the gold real quick. All right, I think this should be enough, but um, I don't really like having big farms like this, so... All right, that should do it. Now I have a lot of hours of ancient debris mining ahead of me. All right, I think I'll call it there. That should be enough debris for the gold armor sets. The amount of netherite ingots that get used in this project is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. So with all of that, it's finally time to get to work on the gold armor. We got boots, leggings, chest plate, helmets, and the gold supply is already diminishing. So hopefully we have enough. I did the math, but you never know how that goes. Next, we need to craft all the armor trims again, place all the armor stands, and finally the actual armor. The gold is looking awesome. And now for the best looking trim so far. Ugh, not these colors, just this style. That one looks sick. All right, that is all the gold armor done, which makes this entire project officially halfway finished. And luckily the next armor is much easier to get than gold. So an armorer villager doesn't sell. Oh wait, you can buy iron armor. Okay, well that'll take too long, but I still have a better idea that involves villagers. Instead of trading with them to get all the iron armor, I'm gonna make an iron farm. So I'll breed a few more villagers. Hopefully you guys can get to doing that real quick. While they're doing that, I'll prep the area for the iron farm right over here. I just need to flatten out a bit of land and gather a couple materials like some torches, signs, smooth stone, slabs, hoppers, trap doors, chests, a boat, two buckets of water, a bucket of lava, and a few beds. Then I need to dig a hole right here. Now I just need all of them to grow up so I can lock that, put them here peacefully. Oh, what? they're breeding? Can you stop, you freak? This is so awkward because I have to kill the extras. There we go. Now I'll let the rest go in the hole. Perfect. Now I just have to trap this zombie in here and there we go. That's what we like to see. And now we just wait. And that should be enough. So now I can craft all the iron armor we need and craft the armor trims again. Only 51 diamonds left over, that was close. But now it's time to put it all together. Okay, the iron sets are already my favorite. I can't wait to see the diamond and netherite sets coming up next in the video. Netherite on iron looks awesome. Quartz on iron does not. This whole display is looking crazy so far. And that is all the armor set so far, but it looks awesome and we only have diamond and netherite armor left to do. And good news, the villagers we set up earlier sell full sets of diamond armor. They're pretty cheap too, but not cheap enough. Good thing I still have zombie guy here. 
And now every diamond armor only costs one emerald each. And I even have quite a few emeralds to use left over. Last time I accidentally bought six double chests of each chainmail armor, which was way too much. But this time that is the exact amount I need because I don't just need diamond armor to be the diamond armor. I also need diamond armor to turn it into netherite armor later. So all of these chests need to be filled with diamond armor. And I think I can do that. Oh, you can only buy three at a time. This is gonna take longer than I thought. <gasps> Are you kidding me? So now with all the armor collected, that just leaves the final tasks. First, gathering all the diamond to craft the trims for the rest of the armor sets. And this is only like the billionth time we've had to go diamond mining, so... Now with all the diamonds taken care of, we come to probably the most important part, getting the rest of the netherite. For every other armor type, I only needed 64 netherite ingots to use with the trims. But this time, since I'm crafting actual netherite armor in addition to the trims, I don't just need 64. For the rest of the armor, I need 768 netherite ingots. Strip mining for that or using beds like I had been doing is going to be too slow and inefficient. So this time I have another strategy. So I'm gonna switch over to my chest plate and for the next few nights, I've gotta grind a bunch of creepers for gunpowder because I want stacks and stacks of TNT to netherite mine with. So with my looting three sword, let's get to work. Okay, I didn't even get a stack of gunpowder from that whole night. This is so awkward because I have to make a creeper farm after I already said I hate farms. But that means it's material gathering time again. Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to flex how rich I was. Okay, so first things first, I need a bunch of ladders. Okay, I only needed like two stacks. So that was a little overkill, but it's always good to be prepared. Then I need to grab a bunch of carpet. So I'll shear all my sheep that I lovingly have trapped over here. Then I need some torches, fences, fence gates, buttons, and some snow, cause this farm is fancy and uses snow golems. Chests, hoppers, pumpkins. Oh, I need eight of them. I only have seven. Finally, now I can carve them. I need a bed, soul fire campfires, 13 stacks of spruce trap doors, which are expensive by the way. And to top it all off, a bunch of stacks of smooth stone blocks. Now we need to find a deep ocean biome cause that's where this farm will work best. This should be good enough. And this is a pretty simple and quick farm to set up. So now I'll just AFK up here at the top for a while and see what we get. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I think this should be enough. So now I can just gather a bunch of sand to craft into TNT. And now it's finally time to head into the nether and blow up everything until we have enough ancient debris for the rest of the armor sets. All that for only five ancient debris? I got more from just strip mining. Let's try again. I think that should be all the ancient debris we need. And now I can just smelt it up and craft it into ingots. Now that we finally have every single material we'll need for the rest of the project, it's time to suffer through the lag here and place down all the armor stands for the diamond armor, craft the armor trims, add the trims to the armor. And here is the first diamond set. Ew, copper really does not look good with diamond. Diamond on diamond though actually looks pretty cool. And of course, Silence Armor is still the coolest looking set. This is by far the most boring set. There's like nothing on here. It looks like it didn't even change. And now for the final set to Diamond Armor. And that is every single diamond set in the entire game. This literally looks insane, minus the lag. And now I can finally place down the final row of armor stands. And I need to craft a whole lot of netherite upgrades to turn the rest of this diamond armor into sets of netherite. And this is the first netherite set. Let's go. That is the first full section done. That looks awesome. Now time to do the rest. Ah. 
There we go. That is every single set of armor in the entire game. Every type of armor, every armor trim in every color. And now that I have an example of what every single armor trim looks like, I can finally make my own armor. For my helmet, I want a spire armor trim made with lapis. For my chest plate, silenced armor trim with amethyst. For my leggings, I want the rib armor trim again with amethyst. And for my boots, I'll go with the wild trim in netherite. And so this is the final set. Look at me. A nice color fade from blue to purple to dark purple to black. Subscribe or I'll delete your Minecraft account.